So what we've got here is a pretty typical scenario for most dairy farmers. We've got an eroding channel. You can see it's eroding. We've got bare exposed faces of sediment and all of that is pretty much subsoil. There's no topsoil on it. We can manage that. We want to manage that because sediment carries with it a lot of other problems to our waterways. The sediment itself will impact on the insects and the fish species and that will happen here in our channels, in our waterways, but also all the way to the coast. It's one of the biggest contaminants we have to deal with as a country to freshwater quality. Best way to deal with that, fortunately, is riparian management. By setting the fence back far enough there that the channel can naturally form itself at a 45 degree slope, we'll be protecting that bank. That is what the waterway is naturally trying to do. It's flowing in this direction, and as it flows, it's being forced out on this bend, out into that face, and it's gonna carry on cutting it away. So the best thing we can do, first thing we can do, is move the fence. You can see it's probably sitting at about a meter, meter and a half from that face. We really want it at about three to five. When it's at three to five meters, that then gives us the room and the opportunity for the bank to naturally form this 45 degree slope and and for us to plant it with upper bank community plants. If the bank were incised by about a metre and a half or less, we could get away with natives and they would probably take and they'd reinforce that bank in time before it could be pushed. But in this case where we're talking a good two to three metres, it's too steep, it's too deep, we're going to have to look at exotics. So think about your poplars, think about your willows, both of which are sourced readily from your regional councils. They're the best suppliers because they'll sell you the sterile hybrids and those hybrids won't take over any of the rest of your waterways but they will offer you the reinforcing features that you want to stop erosion and loss of your valuable farmland.